Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's is Vlogmas Day 5, I think, or Vlogmas Episode 5. It is Day 2. Do we count this as Day 2 of Oslo? Yeah, because Day 1 would have been yesterday. Yes. Day 2, but our first full day in Oslo. So it's Saturday morning. We have just had breakfast, as you've seen, and we are going to go and have a Saturday shopping. So we're going to find the Christmas markets and the department stores, and we're going to have a little mooch around the shops. But before I do that, time to open Advent. Um, I don't have my tripod. I do have it. It's in the suitcase. Um, so here's Day 10's Advent. I know what's in here because I've already read today's email because I've done today's clue at breakfast. So I'm going to pass this off camera to my little elf. Elfie! and ask him to open it. <laughs> so day 10 is, I'm gonna rip this. that's fine, just be careful. Try and open them neatly. Lift the, no, lift the silver sticker. Can't Talk amongst yourselves. Oh. That's fine, just, just, just do it Do it as gently as you can. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, I do have some wool progress to share with you coming up when he actually gets the, uh, the advent open. While he does that, let me talk about. So yesterday on the plane, day nine, you saw we did this and I thought it was going to be a tail. But day 10's clue, we've added this little tip which now makes me think this is a wing because if it's a tail, that's the middle and then it's not going to be symmetrical. Um, and I can't imagine a bird with an asymmetrical tail. I don't know. Thanks. Um, so I think this is a wing, but we've basically added this bit on, which is what I've done. And then the rest of today's clue and, oh, Okay, I need to find the fishing wire. It was definitely in the bag just now. Um, so day 10 is more beads. So today's clue, we have to take the other lot of beads because we haven't used all these yet. Um, and we have to thread, it's either 35 or 36, onto mist. And then we are adding beads all the way along here. So we're going to come from the point down the spine, down the long bit, and stop on the end. Um, so that is what we need to do today. Um, but yeah, I can't... It's really thin. It'll be in the bag somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. So I need to get the fishing wire, and then we're going to sew that on, which will be great. Um, and then... In the email, it says we've got more beads today because we are gonna we're gonna need them because we're gonna use all these beads. So it's gonna be a blingy bird. So that is today's advent day ten. Um, and then in knitting progress, just before we go out. So you saw me cast on with this lovely yarn, and I made good progress. I cast on in the round, and I had to do a garter stitch rib kind of the, the, the border, effectively, where the rib would usually go, um, which I've done. And then I don't understand the pattern. <laughs> well, I do understand the pattern. It's a four-row repeat. But one of the rows, there's yarn overs with the yarn in the back, but then you need the yarn in the front to purl. There's a video that goes with the pattern, and the link in the video doesn't work. So I have messaged Louise, and she said that um, she'd moved some of the files around um, on her drive that links the videos um and thank you for bringing that to her attention that it was broken and she would fix it so i can't i can go on because i think i know what i'm doing but i did the two rows of the four row repeat and it just didn't look like the picture so i think i'm doing something wrong so i'm going to wait for the video to come live but what it does mean is yesterday i got the multicolored yarn which is bonkers and i cast on for the second cowl so we have made some progress. So I've got two whips <laughs> on the go now. And with this one, um, we are doing an inch of seed stitch. 
Um, so I think I've got another couple of rounds to go. Um, but I love these colours are just absolutely bonkers. So I think I probably need to do another two or three rounds. Um, and then I'm into the pattern. But the reason I've started this one is because I understand the pattern. Um, it's a four row repeat again, but I know how to do all of that pattern. So while I'm waiting for the video to test this one, I can get going on this one. So we have lots of woolly progress, which is brilliant. Right, I am gonna get ready. We are off shopping. So we'll show you a bit of Oslo. Um, I was gonna, not sure about knitting shops today. I've got four or five knitting shops I wanna go to. Interestingly, three of them are now only open on a Sunday. And that's it. So tomorrow is going to be knitting shop day. So if I happen to pass a knitting shop today, we might pop in. But um, knitting shops will come later in the video. And I have a knitting shop plan because I want to buy some yarn, obviously. Um, but I've got a plan to be very specific with what I buy. So more on that later. So now we need to go out. I've lost my fishing wire. Oh, I had it at breakfast. I took it down with me so that I could thread my beads and it's gone <laughs> I've just popped back and they didn't see it they said they didn't notice it when they cleared the table so I don't know hey ho um today's wool watch I have another cowl this is also the mindful mindfulness cowl um and this is Mark's cowl also in wool by Countess of Blaze, but I don't know the colourway. Mark went to a awards do. This is like five, six years ago in Manchester, and he came home with wool because he's good like that. You're good like that. So I made one for me and one for him. It's cold this morning. It feels like minus three, minus four. I'm gonna need to put my hat on in a minute. Um, but we are off in search of fishing wire <laughs> or dental floss. Mark's got a bead in his pocket because let's be fair, if I'll have the bead, I'll lose it. <sighs> so we're going to go and find a department store and see if we can find some fishing wire. Like we're in Norway, they always fish, don't they? We stumbled upon in a department store all the wool um i'm gonna try this it is knitting a lot or sewing elastic so i feel like i can stretch it and it won't break that's the plan but it's only uh four pound so if i buy it and it's not gonna work then it's fine um but I'm in needle heaven.
alle de andre barna kan lage julegaver her i julevinterland. Borte på julegaveverkstedet kan du pynte forskjellige julegaver og pepperkake, Rudolfer. Jeg vil heller ha pepperkake, Alfreder. Now we are obviously back in the hotel with the really high ceilings. He does really good. If you ever need to go on holiday, um, he doesn't work in the holiday travel business, but he's very, very good. It's because he's an exec assistant. He does this for a living. He's very good at holiday, so I can recommend Mark Travel. <laughs> I'm not cheap. You're not cheap. No, he's definitely not cheap. Um, so, by way of wrapping up the day of Oslo, it was cold. It got down to minus five, minus six. You saw we sat around the Christmas markets. We sat by the fire. We had a glog, which is also like a glue vine um, or a mulled wine, depending on where you are in the world. I bought my elastic and it didn't work. <laughs> It's too stretchy, um, so it snapped. Um, but I have got, at some point, I've got a skein of yarn that I bought from the Urban Pearl in the house. And I think it's um, Merino singles. And, of course, it doesn't have any nylon in it. So I've bought it. It's beautiful. And um, I'm not sure that it would make good socks, although Mark wanted socks with it. So the fact that I've now got knitting elastic means I can try and knit the socks with the elastic and then that might give them some stability. So every cloud, you know me, super positive. Um, I went to a chemist slash 7-Eleven 
and I got some dental floss. Old Faithful. It sorted me out last year when I broke the, I think it was thick cotton we had last year, but I kept breaking it. It was too heavy handed. So I got some um, floss and it worked and I've come home and I have done today's clue. So you saw this bit this morning. We did the little peek. I definitely think this is a wing now based on the, the shape. But we've done a little peek. And then what we had to do then was add in the beads. So there are 36 beads on this now. Um, it's hard to show it off one-handed. Again, tripods in the suitcase. Um, but there they are, glistening. So the beads have been added. So I'm up to date with Advent. Whoop, whoop. And um, you saw me sitting in the pub doing some knitting. That's right. We had two pints. It was lovely. And I'm making progress on my cowl. So we've done the the ribbon, which I call the ribbon, but it's really just this um, seed stitch. And then we've got the slip stitch pattern. And what I really love is this now, I think is going to spiral because you can see the blue is traveling and then it's really hard to show you um, one handed. Mark, <laughs> can you just hold the camera like that? Thanks. Um, <laughs> so you can see the blue is traveling, the purple is traveling. So I think this is going to be an amazing spiral but I feel really pleased with the progress I've made. So, will I get one cowl done and the second one started? Well, I've already started the second one. Although this is really the first one, this is the second one. Anyway, but I've made good progress, so I've had a good day. So I'm making progress with my cowl. I'm up to date with my advent. We've had a thoroughly lovely time so far in Oslo, and we're off for pizza tonight. Um, when Mark has been researching restaurants, um, this one kept coming up in one of the top restaurants to eat in. So we are going for pizza. Very hot in the room. I think I'm going to end up with a cold. You know when you go in from really cold to really hot and then you just feel like you're going to get sniffy? I feel like, feel like I'm going to be like that. The hotel is boiling. The restaurants and the pubs are boiling. And it's absolutely freezing outside. <laughs> but hey, first world problems, right? I'm complaining about the weather. That's what the Brits do. I'm sure if you're from the rest of the world, you probably complain about the weather as well. But we Brits are particularly known for complaining about the weather. Too yeah, too wet, too hot, too cold, too dry. Um, so, yeah, so that is me. Um, I'll try and get... Oh, that was the other thing. We went to the yarn shop. Oh, oh, I should have got this as well. I feel like I'm making him be my, my, my production assistant. Can I have my barbell, please? Um... We went to the yarn shop and you saw that, but it wasn't a yarn shop. We went to the, um, it was just like a department store. And then they had the best selection of wool. And you saw me wearing this today. Some of you have seen this before if you've been around for a while. This is my barbel hat, which was um, a free pattern for Shetland Wool Week, I think, many years ago. And this is keeping me so warm because it's wool. But this is made from Sanders Garn probably butchered it that's probably not how you pronounce it but sanders garn was the yarn that they were selling in the department store and that's what i made my hat with so i feel like i've got scandinavian wool with me i can't put it on now it's very hot um so yeah there we go that wraps up day two's day we'll see what we get tonight i'll do a bit of footage of oslo by night maybe um so yeah we are off you'll see what's coming up next Greetings from Oslo, day three. Three? Yes. We are here in Oslo. <laughs> We've come to the Opera House to have a little look around. Um, I've got a cold. I woke up this morning, my throat felt like razor blades. And I think it's one of three things. I've either got a cold off niece number three because she was really poorly and now nephew one, they've both had like chest infections, been really rattly. I did see them when we went to see niece one. We can walk and talk, maybe. 
Yeah. Um, I saw them both when we went to Nice One's birthday. So I could have caught germs. We're obviously going in and out of hot hotels, out into the freezing cold. And I think that could be a thing. So that could be the second reason why I've got a cold. And the third one, this happens to me quite a lot, and I think it probably is this, is the fact that I've just taken time off work. Oh, crossing the road. Oh, we've literally stopped in the middle of the road. Um, third one is the fact that I've taken time off work because do you ever find that it's work 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 and then you take time off and then your body's like haha we're gonna get ill and I think it's that I mostly feel fine I'm like 80% okay I've just got a blot nose although my throat isn't sore anymore now I've been up and about chatting I've had lots of coffee we've had breakfast um yeah it is snowing on and off um i don't know if you can make this out it's really cold today um that's the sea and it's frozen um wool watch i've got my barbell on again because it's i've got um three other hats with me so i do need to keep changing them around but this is the warmest back to the orange countess ablaze because i'm wearing greys today I've got my grey cardigan on, my big cardi hug, because it's like a big hug. And also, because I've got a cold, I'm fluctuating between being hot and cold. So I figured if I get really hot, I can take it off. Mark has got on twists and turns and his tough draft gloves. So between us, we're wearing five knits. We're doing well on knit watch. All right, we're gonna go and do some exploring. It is actually snowing. Um, today is Sunday, I should have said. So we're going to the opera house, we're gonna do some exploring, and then we're gonna go and find some yarn shops this afternoon and not buy any yarn. Oh, hello, right. Sunday afternoon. We've had coffee and a cake and we are now off in search of a yarn shop. So we are going to find Sanusgarn, which I've probably not pronounced that correctly. Um, loads of people recommended it. Um, but, and I don't know why, um, but it's only open on a Sunday in December and most Sundays it's only open like four till six 
apart from today when it's open nine till six or ten till six so we're going to find it now it's about quarter past two in the afternoon um so we're going to go and see if we can find it we have another yarn shop lined up after this one if we don't find yarn in this one like i'm not going to all the yarn shops just to squish the yarn my plan is to buy one skein here one skein in stockholm and one skein in copenhagen and then i'm gonna make something with the three skeins and it'll be my scandy thing so i need to go because i think we need to turn the corner and i'm doing the map okay funny story yarn shops closed um i can't remember what i just said it was called but um it was varbit garn i think i said sanders garn i'm not sure and i haven't listened back to the footage yet <laughs> so varbit garn have now moved to <laughs> the very far edge of Norway. <laughs> so they're not in Oslo anymore. Um, Google Maps said that it was permanently closed, but I only translated the bit of the website that said the opening hours. I didn't translate the bit of the website that said they'd moved. Operator error. This is why I'm not usually put in charge of logistics. <laughs> so we've had a lovely little walk. We've been on the tram. <laughs> Luckily, it was only like a 15 minute tram and a short walk. So, you know this, real life blog. We'll keep this footage in now. Martin's an idiot. So, we're now going to get back on the tram and go to the other yarn shop. <laughs> Which, interestingly, I don't think I said this. I was sitting in a coffee shop yesterday, knitting, and ended up sitting next to two knitters. Um, and they were very complimentary. Which road did you come down here? Yeah. She was very complimentary about what I was making. We had a lovely little chat. And I showed her the list of yarn shops that I found. And she said Pickles is the best one and where she goes. So that's where we're going to go now. So it was on my shortlist. But I've got a shortlist of like six places that we could have gone to. So we're going to go and find Pickles. Right, back on the tram. Oh, what a plonker. I don't know where he is. Where is he? There he is.
all done. I will show you my purchases when we get back. I have a plan, I have a pattern. I've got a mark. <laughs> um, yeah, that was lovely. Bean got the yarn, successful trip. Um, the lady in the shop said that Pickles Yarn is a Norwegian company um, and they have the yarn spun in Peru and their tweed is Donegal tweed and spun in Great Britain but it's all for the Norwegian brand Pickles which is lovely so I have Norwegian wool or Norwegian bought wool for a Norwegian brand <laughs> Spun in Peru It's got alpaca in it, it's super soft um, But I think I've worked my maths out right So I've got enough yarn um, We shall see Right, we're heading back to the hotel now See you in a bit Okay, we are just getting ready to go out I've had a big sneezing fit So um, I might sound a bit funny um, Right, I've opened day 11 and i'm doing this now what time is it now please nearly six o'clock six o'clock so we're getting ready to go out and i realized i forgot to open advent although i've done advent but i hadn't opened the advent so today's is oh, another oh, stitch marker <laughs> i can't get it to spin around every time there we go you've seen them before so I have done today's piece. I actually did this first thing this morning. I did it at breakfast. So it's pretty much done. The only thing I need to do is pop the stitch marker on here. Um, I forgot to take it down to breakfast with me. So I just need to pop the stitch marker on here, then do two rounds. So I'm claiming day 11 as complete. Um, we sat down and had some coffee earlier. So I've done some more knitting. These colours, the way they are spiraling and pooling is just bonkers so it's making progress we're getting there that's all that we can ask for um i love it so making progress on the knitted cowl um and yeah i think i'm going to wrap this video up now because i started to edit the footage together and we're up to about we're just over half an hour i think so i'm going to wrap this one up i'm going to be a tease and not show you the wool i bought <laughs> because um, it will be longer. It'll make the video longer. And hey, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So if you want to know what I bought at Pickles, you're going to need to watch the next episode. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up. I'll edit this footage together. It is Sunday night? Yes, Sunday night. So I'll wrap this up um, and it might go live. It won't go live tonight now. So probably Monday morning. Um, tomorrow morning then we are checking out of the hotel and we are heading to... Stockholm so we are flying to Stockholm so I think tomorrow's video will pick up from there I'm still really sniffy I still have my cold I think it is the change in temperatures and the fact that my body's just like ah, and rest hey ho Mark hates sniffing so blowing one's nose does not make me popular but there we are um so Thank you for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed Oslo. The next time we speak, I will be in Stockholm. And we can catch up then. But we're up to date with Advent. We're making progress with our knitting. That is all that we can ask for. So, from me and him, say hello. Hello. Uh, until we speak again, happy crafting. <laughs>